You're watching the station that's working for you. Now, WMAR 2 News. I'm Christian Schaefer with your WMAR 2 News update. President Donald Trump is coming to Baltimore today. He is scheduled to speak at an event for House Republicans tonight at the Marriott Waterfront Hotel in Harbor East. Several groups have announced they plan to protest the president's visit. The president's visit comes just a few months after he attacked Congressman Elijah Cummings, calling his district, which includes parts of Baltimore City, a rat and rodent infested mess, writing on Twitter that no human being would ever want to live in Baltimore. If you plan on being in or driving through the Harbor East area today, expect heavy traffic in that area between 4 o'clock and 8.30 tonight. A woman from Baltimore County has been missing now for nearly a week. Police say they are concerned she may have been the victim of a crime. Charla Melvin has not been seen since Saturday. That was on Twin Lakes Court in the Milford Mill area. She may be driving an SUV, a black Hyundai Santa Fe. The license plate number is 3CR7429. That SUV has been spotted in West Baltimore. Her family says she has some health issues, which raises their level of concern. We never thought we would be here, and here we are. And Chala Hoy uh, is an amazing woman. She is a mother. She is a grandmother of four, and she has a lot of loved ones who appreciate and love her very much. Yeah, the family held that news conference with Baltimore County Police. Once again, 50 year old Charla Melvin has been missing since Saturday. If you have any idea where she might be, the best thing to do is just to call 911. The man arrested Monday in connection with that suspicious van filled with more than 660 gallons of diesel fuel in Baltimore County has been identified. That's his picture, Tyrone Strickland. Police say he was stealing that fuel from the World Farms gas station along Pulaski Highway near Ebenezer Road, the White Marsh area. Police say he was trying to leave the parking lot of that gas station when he was pulled over and was not able to show a valid driver's license or registration card. In addition to all that diesel fuel, officers say they found Royal Farms gift cards they believe he was using to get that fuel. Strickland has been charged of with misusing those gift cards and driving on a revoked license. Police say that license was revoked back in 2016. MVA records show that Strickland lives in La Plata, which is in Charles County in Southern Maryland. As of right now, police have not linked Tyrone Strickland to the other suspicious van that was found Monday. This one that shut down a large portion of downtown Baltimore when it was found loaded with 80 gallons of diesel fuel in a parking garage near the Inner Harbor. So far, police have not identified the driver who left this van there, but the possibility that the two incidents are connected is still under investigation. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Thursday, everyone. Getting closer and closer to Friday, which heads into the weekend. But before we do, we have to deal with the heat and the humidity once again for today. Strong to severe thunderstorms are possible as we go into the afternoon and cooler temperatures are on the way. So if we can just get through today, oh, you're going to love tomorrow if you like the fall type weather. Muggy meter is up there once again for today, and then that will start to fall off as we head through the overnight into tomorrow as well. The future cast picking up on some of those scattered showers and thunderstorms as we head more towards, I'd say, 5 o'clock, 7 o'clock between that time frame, we could see some of those isolated scattered showers and thunderstorms and the storm prediction center actually does have us in a marginal risk a scale of one to five we fall in the one category biggest threat will be damaging gusty winds for today check this out we actually do have a record in jeopardy i'm forecasting 94 degrees for today that record set back in 1931 96 so we'll see if we'll do we do it and i actually think that we have a great chance at tying it or breaking it as we go into the afternoon if you're headed to the game this evening 86 degrees is that temperature it is going to be humid scattered shower thunderstorm again possibility but we won't have a wash out so that's definitely some good news and here's your seven day forecast as we pick this up on friday temperatures drop off to about 74 degrees and then numbers will rebound again as we head into saturday and the humidity makes a comeback as well boy much cooler though tomorrow thanks lynette that's all the time we have for now stay with us online at wmr2news.com all day long for updates on top stories and breaking news and for news and weather on the go you can download the wmar2 news app it is constantly updated it's in the app store it's got live radar and we'll send breaking news alerts straight to your phone thanks for watching i'm christian schaefer this wmar2 news update is sponsored by jones junction